Do you consider yourself smart? Like sometimes, you know, I think I'm quite smart and then it'll come to just doing really, really basic things in my life, like checking my tyre air pressure and I'll be like, what? Hey, I'm Jo, I'm 28 years old and I am a counselling student. The most courageous thing I, ever, I have ever done, I would say, was deciding to do my exchange semester at university in Mexico and then going and travelling around Central America as a single white female. Yeah, um, that was definitely a big concern for a lot of my family members, but I survived. I guess I would say I'm quite personable. I think that I have an ability to get along with basically anyone from any walk of life. I am almost obnoxiously competitive at times up until the point when I realise I'm losing, then I start to give off the impression that I don't care anymore. But it's all a lie, I care. <laughs> um, the nicest thing I've ever done for someone else, um, offering Brian Stewart my friendship. No, <laughs> I do consider myself resilient. I do. I think I came to that realisation only quite recently. I used to think I was a bit of a, a baby, but I've, I've overcome some stuff. <laughs> what have you overcome? <laughs> oh gosh, not even my therapist knows that. <laughs> My biggest regret in life <laughs> was going to America when I was an emo and, <laughs> and deciding it was uh, not cool to go and actually look at the Grand Canyon, so I stayed in my hotel room. <laughs> Why did you think it was not cool? Oh, because emos don't like going outside, obviously. <laughs> Internal critic-wise, give myself the hardest time ever. Um, and if I achieve something, I get like momentary enjoyment and like, oh yeah, I'm pretty capable. And then that window goes away and then the internal critic, yeah, basically I am just the biggest bully ever. Do I feel like I have something to prove? Yeah, definitely. Um, not, not just to myself, like <laughs> I look for external validation all the time. <laughs> about right. <laughs> what I think it takes to win Backyard Survivor is, I, you know, I guess being more objective, being able to kind of step outside of it instead of getting all anxious and, and really consumed by it, just being able to like see things more objectively. It, this is something that's totally out of my comfort zone um, and I just think it'd be a really, really interesting little human experiment to be a part of.